This is the first thing, the first hint that the Megillah tells us, you want to be part of the Gula? You want to be part of the redemption? You have to study Torah. Studying Torah is not watching a video on YouTube. Studying Torah is sitting in a yeshiva with a book. Watching a video on YouTube is very nice. I also put videos on YouTube. You see how many cameras we have here? YouTube is good. Learning Torah is from a book, not from a screen. Because the screen has the clip in it. It shows you the nice video, and then you go to the next. So you see a very inspiring video on Facebook, and then you see the rest of the junk. So you're looking at a 20 minute video, you get all hyped up, and then you're looking at two hours of nonsense. So the videos online are good, I'm not saying they're bad, but that's not how you study Torah. Studying Torah is with a book. So when the Megillah tells us that you have to learn Torah, women also can learn, there's no prohibition. Women have to learn, they have to learn how to keep Shabbat, they have to learn laws of modesty, laws of Lashon Ara, how to teach their kids. You're not exempt. We have to learn Torah. And if a person learns less than two hours a day Torah, that's not Torah. Two hours a day is just to warm the engines. And don't look at me like, two hours. Yeah, two hours. I told you before, make an account how many hours a day you're wasting on the screens, you'll get five hours. So take two of it to study Torah instead. Studying Torah is you go in the morning to a synagogue after you pray Shacharit, you learn one hour of Torah, half an hour, whatever you can, and at night you go to a koilel. There's enough where to learn. But you're not yoitzi with watching a video or putting a disc in the car. These are good. This is time to, 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 you know, to fill in the space. Because the way it works in the spiritual realm, if you're not putting into your vessel, into your kli, something holy, right away comes something unholy. That's how it works. So if my mind is constantly, I'm injecting it with holy things, that there's no room for unholy things. So when you drive, when you walk, when you do whatever you can, yeah, you make the CDs play and the videos on YouTube run. That's for the mind to be constantly occupied with inhaling or it putting in me thoughts of Kedushah, of holiness. The second that I stop that, then come the junk in. But learning Torah is from a book.